Thanks for staying with us. Now, elected national youth organizer of the NDC, George Opariado, has called for unity among the rank and file of the party. He retained his position after a keenly contested election in Cape Coast on Saturday. Pablo, as affectionately called, beat his sole contender, Yao Jemfi, by obtaining 533 votes in the elections. We have just won the battle. But we have a war to fight. So we are not going to be carried by the battle we won. We expect to unite our ranks. If you look at the context, it was a close one. So we must bring everybody on board so we can take John Ramani Mahama president again. And our common enemy is the NPP. So today, we unite our ranks as a national youth wing of the NDC. And our march is to march towards the Flagstaff House. There is no Broja camp and there is no Pablo camp. There is a youth wing of the National Democratic Congress. But I know it's not Well, Dr. Hannah Louisa Bizi also beat her closest contender to retain the national women's organizer position of the National Democratic Congress. She polled 433 votes, as against Margaret Anzi's 362 votes. Other contenders are Abigail Akwabin, Elo Mensa, and Felicia Jifa Tega, who obtained 341 and 260 votes, respectively. Well, she called on members of the party to join in the crusade to take back power for the NDC in the year 2024. That is not a crime to be committed, to work hard, to be selfless, to sacrifice, to have unflinching, uncompromising loyalty to the great NDC. It happened to Hannah Bissu, should not happen to anyone again. Those who to build a political party Well, let's get more on this. Member of our political deck, Samuel Mbura, joins us now on Zoom with details of other elected executives of the party. Sami, who are the deputies? Sami, kindly unmute for me so that I can hear you clearly. I want to find out the other elected executives of the party after they elected the national youth organizer and the women's organizer. Already we know that the National Youth Organizer, Giorgio Pariado, is calling for peace within the party. I want to find out the other executives elected and their strongholds moving on. Right, so other executives that were also elected yesterday were the Deputy National Youth Organizer, where we have Osman Abdullahi Ayarga. He has 3,703 as against Ruth Della Sedom. Uh, who garnered 313 votes. Uh, so um, Osman Abdullahi Ayarga has been declared the Deputy National Youth Organizer of the NDC. Um, also, uh, we had the Deputy National Women's Organizer slot as well, 
where Abigail Elon Mensa emerged victorious uh, with 348 um, votes asked against Felicia Jifa Tiga, who had 296 uh, votes. So these were the other people um, that contested in the elections yesterday. Yeah. Okay, Sami. So now we know that the party is gearing up for the 2024 elections. How will these individuals help them clinch power moving forward? What are their specialties and their strongholds? So if, if you look at the, the distribution of the elections, you realize that um, they are actually regionally distributed. So we have uh, Dr. Hannah Bissu coming from the Bono area. We have um, Osman Ayarka also coming from the, uh, the upper east region. And then also um, the women's organizer, for instance, Abigail Elam, um, they, they have support based from their various constituencies or the regions that they are coming from. So uh, it is uh, one of the advantages that will play in the upcoming, um, re uh, I mean, the reorganization towards the upcoming 2024 uh, general election. So uh, the work actually starts now, though they are yet to elect the national, other national executives that will be uh, this um, 17th of uh, December. So um, per their statement yesterday, they did indicate that they will work with the rank and file of the party to ensure that with their various portfolios, they will gather uh, more or attract more people to the NDC ahead of the 2024 general elections. Thank you very much. Samuel Mbura is a member of our political decks here. We are your election headquarters and we'll be giving you all the updates as we drive towards the 2024 elections. Okay.